Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to round to one decimal place, which is rounding to the tenths place. Now, rounding shows up all throughout math, and really, life as well. So being able to round is important, no matter what class, level of math, or goal you are working towards. Rounding helps us make numbers simpler and easier to work with. Let's jump into number one, where we have a fairly long decimal. We need to round to one decimal place. In other words, we are going to cut this decimal off after one decimal place, the tenths place. We do this by taking a look at the digit in the tenths place, or whatever other place we want to round to, and then take a look at the digit to the right. That digit to the right tells us if we keep the digit the same or if we round up. Four or less, keep the digit the same. Five or more, round up. I'm going to start by underlining the digit in the tenths place. That's going to be the digit to the right of the decimal. So this four here for number one. We need to take a look at the digit to the right, the digit in the hundredths place. Basically, we are seeing if this decimal is closer to four tenths or five tenths. That number to the right tells us this. We have a two to the right. That's four or less. So we keep the digit the same. Our original decimal rounds to four tenths. We can think of this as cutting the decimal off after one decimal place. So after the tenths place. We do this by rounding. Our original decimal is approximately or rounds to four tenths. This is the approximate sign. We use that because four tenths isn't exactly equal to our original decimal. We rounded, we have an approximate decimal, so we use that sign to represent that. Let's move on to number two, where we have 81 and then some decimal digits. There is a zero in the tenths, and then a three to the right in the hundredths. Three is four or less, so we stay the same. This rounds to 81 and 0 tenths. Now 81 and 0 tenths is equal to just 81, but I included that zero in the tenths place to show that we rounded to one decimal place, to the tenths place. Let's move on to number three, where we have two and six repeating. So we have a repeating decimal here. Those sixes go on forever but we still round the same way. We have a six in the tenths place with a six to the right in the hundredths. Six is five or more, so we round up. This rounds to two and seven tenths. Lastly, let's move on to number four, where we have 15 and then some decimal digits. There is a nine in the tenths place with a seven to the right in the hundredths. Seven is five or more, so we round up. Now here, we are rounding up a nine. If we round up a nine, we get 10. So what we can do, we can put the zero from the 10 in the place we are rounding, and then regroup the one from the 10 to the next place to the left. I'll bring the decimal straight down, and then we have that one and five, which makes six, and then a one in the tens place. So this rounds to 16 and 0 tenths. 16 and 0 tenths is equal to 16, but I included that zero to show that we rounded to the tenths place. I do wanna mention that there are different ways to think through rounding up a nine. I dropped the link to my video about rounding up nines down in the description if you need more examples. So there you have it. There's how you round to one decimal place, the tenths place. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.